Hello YouTube! Welcome to my channel. Today's project is an mp3 music player. I designed this for my grandson. There were a few goals. It needed to be sturdy and easy to use. So the walls are thick and it has just one big button to turn it on or off. I also wanted it rechargeable, so I added an 18650 lithium battery and charger. The SD card and charging port are secured behind an access plate to keep small fingers out. For printing, I used PLA. Three walls, three top, and three bottom layers, 30% infill, and quarter millimeter layer height. Make sure to orient it with the flat side on the table for each piece. Everything should print without supports. All of the STL files are available for free on Thingiverse. Link in the description. For electronics, you'll need an 18650 battery and the TP4056 USB battery charger module the blue mp3 lossless decoder board and a micro sdf card a 4 ohm 3 watt 40 millimeter speaker a round 22 millimeter led rocker switch wire spade terminals zip ties and 23 millimeter bolts eight short ones 8 to 10 millimeters and 12 longer 14 to 16 millimeters to assemble after printing all the parts for the housing cut six wires to about six inches in length and strip the ends if your speaker did not come with wires attached, cut two more and solder them onto the speaker. Attach your spade clips each to one of the four wires. Solder the two remaining wires to the 18650 battery. Tin the remaining ends of all wires, and now we can attach them to the boards. Starting with the power lines for the MP3 board, solder the wire with the piggyback spade clip to the negative terminal, threading the tinned end through the hole and then tack it in place with some solder. For the positive lead, Use a wire with a female spade clip and solder the tinned end into the positive lead hole. Now repeat this process for the USB charge board. Solder the remaining two leads with the spade clips to the outside holes. These will connect to the switch and power the MP3 player. Then the two wires from the battery connect to the two inner holes. Make sure to connect the positive of the battery to the hole marked plus and the negative to the minus. Now that it's wired, test the electronics. Put a few tracks on the micro SD card and insert it into the MP3 board, and then temporarily connect the speaker. Plugging in a USB charger into the charge board should light up the charging indicator. Then if you connect the positive and negative leads between the USB board and the MP3 board, it should start playing music. With all that, let's put it together. Disconnect the speaker and thread the speaker wires through the speaker clip ring. Then center the speaker over the baffle in the mid enclosure. Place the ring on top and secure it with four short M3 bolts. Next, press the button into place on the top panel. Now, take the bottom panel, place the battery, USB charger board, and MP3 board into place, and then secure the two boards using the part clip and two short MP3 screws. Now, using the piggyback terminal, Connect both negative terminals to the negative lug on the LED switch. It's gold colored on mine. Then connect each of the spade clips for the remaining two positive lines to the remaining two lugs on the switch. To connect the speaker, loosen the screws for the terminal block on the MP3 board. Then thread one end of each of the speaker wires into a spot on the block and tighten it up to secure it in place. Now take two thin zip ties and thread them through the holes and pull tight to secure the battery. Trim the ends of the zip ties as needed. Since this will take some abuse, use a few dabs of hot glue to strengthen the solder joints and secure the boards in place better. Also, 
The small chip right behind the terminal block on the MP3 board is the amplifier. If you have one, adding a heatsink here will increase the life of the board. Now bolt it all together. Stack the midsection on the bottom plate and then add the top plate. Using the longer 3mm bolts, secure with two bolts at the front of the top and then two at the front of the bottom. Now fit the back plate in place. Secure the back plate with eight longer 3mm bolts, two on each side, two on the bottom, and two on the top. For each of these, if the bolt isn't holding well, you can use a slightly longer one, up to 20mm. If you have them, press two 3mm thread nuts into the plastic holes in the back panel to add a better mount for the USB cover, as this is one part you'll be unscrewing often. If you choose to skip the thread inserts, print the no inserts version of the back panel. Line up the cover with the SD card and the USB port and secure it in place with the remaining short 3mm bolts. Now we're all done. Test and enjoy. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, drop me a comment and subscribe and like the video. There's plenty more to come soon. And until next time, thanks for watching.